Welcome to part three of our final skate of the Philadelphia Free Skate, the Sunday morning skate. It's 10 a.m. And if you're still here, then, wow, I'm not boring you to death. Or, or maybe I am and you just are a glutton for punishment. We are at the Roberts Pediatric Center for Children's Research. This is not a hospital, but it is part of the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia. I believe they're ranked number one in the nation. And to the right there being the Schuylkill, looking across the way at West Philly, down the Schuylkill there a little bit is going to be Bartram's Park. Um, if you look straight past the power station there, you can see the power station stacks. Beyond that is Gray's Ferry. Further off to the left will be South Philly towards Citizens Bank Park, etc. Now we're going to um, take place in something kind of interesting here, a little exercise of the world's windiest road for skaters next to the building here. I'm going to set up here and you'll see people. I'm on 360 so you can really swing around now and see left and right while I'm standing still. It's kind of cool if you're using your 360. Finally get to use it, right? Hopefully you've been using it throughout all these videos to see what's going on behind me. You may have noticed like bikers who are trailing me cl closely, etc. You have to be careful with bikers. You've got to be careful when you're on those bike paths. I, I should have for our pedestrian footpaths. Uh, you cannot kick out. You cannot kick out, and, and if you're going to kick out, you need to have some sort of rear view mirror or keep looking over your shoulder to know that no biker is going to pass you as you're kicking out on your strides. I mean, you can obviously think about it as, the, as, you're, as they're coming towards you, but that's usually when it happens when people don't realize a biker is trying to overtake you and you're kicking out and you just stick that foot out and it catches their wheel. And it is nasty. I've seen it once on, um, on the Hudson bike path. And New York one night, it was it was amazing and it was terrifying and it was ugly. That whole biker went right over the front of his uh, fork. Of course, the skater's leg was caught in the wheel. I mean, it just sucks. It sucks your leg right in once your once your foot touches those spokes. All right, enough of that crap. So you can see we've worked our way down here. We're going to group up. We're going to actually skate to the right towards the power station you're not going to see that part you know I do a lot of jump cuts here with fades to try to save you from some of the skating experience that's I would say monotonous for lack of better terms and I can't tell you how hard it is to try to keep my head steady so that you're not getting sick of the camera shake and you can probably notice I'm wearing a hat I'm not wearing a helmet on this skate. This was the Sunday morning recreational skate and I figured, you know what? I know, my bad. Very bad person for doing so. Now we're now, we're at Bittler Park, I think. Or actually, no, I'm sorry. This is the Schuylkill River Park. And we're going to work our way we're going to work our way on this street with no name as we exit the park. It's very strange. It's between, I, I, it's like it's Delancey place, but it's not. It's between Cypress and Panama Street, and it just kind of zigzags. We're not there yet, but by the way, if you look here, we're having some difficulty skating on the surface. It's damp, and it's slick from all of these leaves that have broken down, like the oils and the leaves. You can see people, you know, trying to take real short strides. Your feet come right out from underneath you. Good time to have knee pads on. So here we are about to take off from this park. And we're going to overtake a, uh, a guy pushing, I think his grandmother or something like that right here. We're going to see it. You're going to see him right in the middle of the road. You just kind of swarm all around him. And at this point, we're going to skate through, I, I guess, the Rittenhouse area. It, you know, we're west of Rittenhouse Square. I'm not really sure what this part of town's called. I mean, it's it's as pretty a society hill, but you know, if you do some research on the area, apparently it was victim to a lot of urban blight back in the 50s. But it seems like it's 
one of the nicer parts of Philly to live in now with these structures. These um these brownstones are just pretty with the uh with the bay windows and the steps. I mean, it's not a bad area. It looked quite nice. And we go through blocks and blocks of this as we approach the Rittenhouse area. And it's, you know, it's, I guess it's pretty cool if people are, you know, want to take a walking commute over to University City or to, to Center City. So it's like it's in, within walking distance, but it's definitely not for anybody with a car. <laughs> there are the, plenty of garages, but I mean, I would think, I don't know. I, I'm not one for living in the city. I, I just don't. I don't understand it. I have to have the woods. I have to have some trees. I have to have some open space. I love playing in the cities. But I guess I could live in the city for like one or two years of my life. But I wouldn't want to spend a lifetime living in the city. That's just me. You can put up your argument, of course, in comments. So if you're not using the 360 still, you are making a mistake. Because now you're getting to see a lot of all around visuals as we go through these narrow streets now are you using the 360 to spin around I mean are you taking advantage of that whether you're on your phone or your PC using a mouse I hope you're checking all these views out these are buildings that are probably as close to as old as the country as you're going to get 250 years old possibly in some of these cases now we're in part three we're approaching part four the final two parts are going to uh, cross over from part four and part five with the gay pride parade uh, some interesting sites to be seen and those segments so hopefully you're going to stick around for those and if you're not sharing these videos on Facebook would you do that please all right I'll see you in the next segment it's too much for any man <laughs>